you guys this is my first entry <laughs> in Jennifer's Corner and I'm excited but nervous because I don't want to hear my own self talk for that long okay basically I'm in this weird headspace and I don't know exactly why I'm stuck here but it's frustrating because I go back and forth with myself with things I want to do and then when it comes to executing I guess so I know everybody's been here but right now I feel like I'm just so stuck because I know I'm, I know I'm capable of doing so much more and I just tend to talk myself out of things and I don't know why I do that because you know like when you want more for yourself and you you know you know you can have it and you know you'll be good at it or whatever it is but you scare yourself before you even try it that's where I'm at right now like with with everything you know for the last I guess few months I've been working hard on cherishing my own my, my qualities you know, my good qualities at least like I know I'm good at giving advice I know I'm creative I know I'm good at motivating others but when it comes to myself I'm just like like nothing <laughs> I'm getting to a point in my life where I I'm starting to hold myself accountable because now I'm really watching these years go by and I'm literally doing nothing like or not where I want to be, you know. When I was younger, at like 18, 19, I saw what I wanted out of life, or at least at this point, like in my tw my early 20s, I had this whole thing, I, I, well, this whole idea of how I wanted my life to be. And then to get here and it's not fully what I wanted to be, I'm just like, <sighs> I let myself down, you know. I've been, it's it's been annoying because it's a battle within myself. And. I'm trying to learn how to put myself first, but that's the hard part because I feel like when I'm doing that, I'm being selfish, you know. I'm getting there where I know I need to choose myself, you know. That is frustrating. And over, over the months, I've been like so negative and depressed and just sad, like. It just it just sucks knowing that you could be so much more so much further in life but you kind of choosing to be stuck you know and I feel like that's me being me choosing not to step outside of my comfort zone all the way like I feel like I got the tip of my big toe I don't <laughs> like the tip of my the nail of my big toe out of my comfort zone then I have to ask myself like Kathy what are you really scared of and I'm, I've always been so stuck on approval if not the, the main thing it's one of the biggest things I don't know I think I'm I'm getting to a point where I'm, I'm done like seeking validation if I want to do something I'm gonna ask myself first a series of questions and if I approve of it like what's that the big deal like I have to keep telling myself girl you have one life and this just just try it because you don't want to regret it later and that's one of my biggest fears too I don't want to have to regret anything because even with this whole YouTube thing I always said how it's supposed to be my growth and all type of stuff and I keep battling with myself like why not actually be consistent and do it and then it comes to me being lazy and procrastinating like oh, okay well nobody's watching anyway but I'm not, I'm not doing these videos per se for somebody to just to have like a, a 15 million subscribers. I mean, although that's really nice, that wasn't my initial plan. Like I didn't even realize that I had like 28, 29 videos up already. And then I started to look at my first one and it made me cringe. I was like, girl, like I started to look at, look at it that way. Like, ew, so gross to see myself. But then I'm looking like, but no, Kathy, that's what you wanted. You wanted to see yourself. Excuse me. After after I got over the whole cringy part of it, I was really proud of myself. And I'm just I don't want to seek validation. Like if I like it, if I like doing something, I'm gonna do it. You know, if I want to try something, I'm gonna try it. Like why do I have to feel like, or why am I making myself feel like I need somebody else to motivate me and I could just do it myself? You know. 
I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't know. It's frustrating because it's just, it's me, you know, my little wine, okay? And I just recently had a, um, a group text with my girl, hey y'all, about us starting this new pact and because we're getting older and we're realizing, okay, like we have to do better, you know? And I need to really make sure I I do better. But I'm at this I'm at this point in my life where I'm just I'm fed up with myself. And like I'm always a person who sees potential in other people. So when they see that me, I'm just like, oh I'm glad you see that. And then that's it. Like, I don't even... I'm hot. I don't even act on it. It's so weird. This is such a weird space to be in because I know I'm what, I know whatever I actually put my mind to and commit to, I can do amazing things. But it's just me and me procrastinating and being lazy and just feeling like the opportunity is going to always be there, you know? And But what if it's not? And then I don't want to waste all these years not doing anything that I wanted to do. So I think that's why, I think that's why to me, sticking with this YouTube commitment is so important because it's the first time I actually made a decision that I, I felt really, really solid about. And I love seeing people around my age doing what they want to do, you know? And not out of envy, I watch, I don't watch them out of envy, just like, man, live your life. I, I get happy when I see people, like, thriving. I mean, no, I don't want to say that I'm, I don't, I don't feel like I'm deserving of it, because I do, but then I, I combat that with, okay, Kathy, but why are you so special, you know, anything like that, like, I don't want to be so secluded and, I guess, clip my wings before I even fly. You know, well, one thing I've really been um, doing lately is speaking more life into myself because not only have I been like second guessing myself, I've all, I'm, I'm also I nitpick the things I don't I nitpick at the things that I don't like about myself. Like I might not like exactly how my body might look, just like anybody else. You know, like just things like that. You know, but I realize I need to start speaking more life into myself. And one thing I've noticed, honestly, that I've I've really made a change um, towards is my faith, because I believe in God, but my faith isn't always as strong as it should be, and I think that's where I fall short. I don't go to church every Sunday. Honestly, I haven't been to church in a while. I mean, I might wa I watch sermons and things like that on TV sometimes. I've been really working on um, keeping my faith strong and not just saying a bunch of empty words. Some of my goals right now are to always hold myself accountable for things and to strengthen my faith because I feel like without that, like everything else is impossible. Like, as far as like where I want to be in life and how accomplished I want to be and everything, I know for a fact that I will get there. It's getting up there and I'm, and I'm proud of myself because I've made a huge difference whether um, whether anybody else notices it or not. I know it, you know? And as of right now, that's all that matters to me is knowing and believing in myself and not letting... I don't want to let myself down. I would have like these vivid dreams and I kind of want to make that a separate video but I I used to have vivid dreams and I feel like it can if I can dream that vividly why can't I in real life oh I kind of have that you know so with all this being said it's, these are just things that I need to work on for myself and